All right. Good morning. Coming at you from Southern Colorado. Uh, trying to describe some um, exploitability about hemp fiber and its bindings uh, with like a, a lime or a Portland um, type um, binding. The Here's a, a the Puritan lime is what I would call this one. It's um, I'm sorry if you can only see the little pointer, um, but is I'm going to use stainless steel for the the picking action. Is lime does a good job by calcifying the the material. Um, it'll hold together fine inside a wall. It's R75 at about one foot thick. Um, I believe the K K rating is like 50. It's insane. Um, the properties of of hemp. Just the natural properties, you know, mold resistant, um, hypoallergenic, all, it's everything a house should be built out of. Um, now you can step up the binding process with mixed design uh, to a Portland. Um, it, it can, um, well, it, it, it needs to be stickier to hold to an organic material. And that's what the whole video is about. Portland in lime, no matter how you do it, it's not going to stick to an organic material. That's its failing point. Um, you can modify that with different... I'm trying to get... Oh, the sun's already dropped. Is um, I was fighting the sun because you couldn't see, but now it's dropped so much you can't... Um, it, it used to sparkle is what it was on some of these, um, these uh, test samples. Um, the... Um, even modified where it's stickier, um, it, it's still it, it's still compressively strong um, for its width. You know, its mass it would hold up its own type roof, not you know not a not a heavy um, whatever you want to call it. Uh, uh, cheaper to manufacture and install roof. Um, I, I can't call it modern because that's that's a laughing thing. Um, uh, our roof system is why our roof and walls and the the way that we seal up our house is why we stay sick. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get at. Um, if you can see this one, this is what you can get, and this is stainless steel. And I'm okay. You, maybe you can. Yeah, there you go. You can scratch the surface, but you can no longer exploit the organic from its binder. Um, there you go. That's a good, that's a good one right there. Uh, there's this one in, in, um, and then you can take, and that's a good shot on exactly how much hemp can be put into the material. And it works just like aggregate, you know, the small and, and the fine aggregate, basically the same principle in the, it fills the gap. Now that looked like it did a lot of damage, but literally it didn't. Um, literally it didn't. Is what I'm trying to get at is the this side was fra it's the smoothest side, and the other side I had to use a belt sander. Um, I can't scratch this side at all. That's why I chose this side over here. But the the blade that I was using broke, and it took out a chunk, and it made a section of this. But the only reason it got dusty like that is because the blade broke. I'll show you a different spot. There's an example. And anywhere where it's solid, you can't even make it scratch. But just an example of what you can do with hemp. Um, like a tunnel, a tunneling system. That, hemp, I believe, would be the perfect tunneling system. Um, the same fabric that these, these ingots are cast with um, could be woven behind the machine, fed through the machine in a woven, a woven tube. Um, only, a, it, how to say that? When you when you when it's woven, it could be you know compressed, fed through the machine, and on the other side reversed. And as the machine fills it out, it becomes stronger. Um, as a tube is stretched, a uh, woven tube is it stretched, it it gains strength, and it shrinks in size. It shrinks in overall length. 
um, so the tubing could be fed through the machine in bunch, you know, I mean, in, in, um, in long, you know, like a, a spaghetti, uh, like a worm, uh, bunched up. And then as the machine needs it, because they don't move very fast, um, ask, ask Elon Musk. Uh, I think he said Gary the snail was beating his machine. Um, <laughs> it's kind of ironically funny. But a tubing could be wove extremely fast. An MGO composite, a true MGO um, even this can cure in four hours, and this is not a true MGO. But a true MGO, I think, can cure in one to four. It's even less. Um, 80,000 PSI. It would make tunneling systems extremely safe, um, only because the the once it's stretched, in its now it's the compressive tunnel, it could be re-drilled, and then... Um, the slurry pump behind it, like you would do for like well drilling and all that, um, to to resolify the the broken rock. You know the the even gravel. It could go through a gravel bed with no problem doing that. Um, I've done some experiment. Some of these uh, I don't have one. I'm sorry, not handy at least. There was one of these um, where it was just dust, and I injected it and I pulled through to to prove a point of concept. It worked just fine. Um, hemp fiber is is a wonderful fiber to work with. It could be injected between the rocks to reinforce the concrete and everything else in the slurry. Um, but, okay, enough of um, tunneling concepts, right? Uh, kind of a, a topic. Um, another thing this thing could do is build a welcome center border wall. Instead of the Nazi dictator thing that they want to do, um, the steel wall, this could be hollow inside with um, air form. Uh, the air forms to cast uh, uh, entire building setups inside the wall. The wall could be 100 feet wide if you wanted it, uh, 50 feet tall. It, it's you know insulated. You wouldn't even have to you wouldn't have to heat it or cool it in um, in that region. And um, but put Red Cross inside the wall. Put uh, put everybody inside the wall. You know I mean make the wall um, a warehouse. Make the wall you know uh, everything you want it to do. You could build entire cities of this overnight. Um, you can air form this, pull the same fabric over up over the top, the, um, pin it, you know, uh, you don't even have to like pin it to the air form, I mean, you pin it together and then spray it with the MGO and it'll, it'll calcify or, or turn to stone. And like I said, in about an hour, then you can go back and shotcrete like this kind of a formula all over it. And this is much lighter, about half the weight of this. And it's probably twice the R value of this. The denser, that that's the one thing that any of this is. Um, the Puritan formula is the most R factor. It, it's the best. It has the very best R factor. Second, um, probably third, fourth, uh, by far fifth. This is probably even third. I should say, I should have said third right here. It's the lightest and it's the densest. Um, Let's see if you can see how, exactly how much wood. This is like the maximum amount of hemp that you can put in concrete um, and still get somewhere. And this is far stronger than reinforced, fiber reinforced concrete. So, um, Okay, I appreciate everybody's watch. If you would, it's down here somewhere. It says like and subscribe. Do both of them. And way down there, drop me comments. I really do enjoy the comments um, more than you could ever imagine. I do truly enjoy the comments. Um, and the only ones that I can't take too well are the flat earth ones, I'll be honest. But the rest of the comments, I, I do, I enjoy. So I thank you all. Have fun. And I appreciate your time. And if you watch through to now, bless you.